In 2020, we can all appreciate how important it is to be able to mirror your phone directly on your television. With devices like Google's Chromecast, mirroring an Android phone or tablet to your TV is super quick and easy over Wi-Fi. But what happens if you suddenly lose internet or find yourself in a situation where internet isn't an option? Mirroring your phone to your television without Wi-Fi is still an option, but with limitations, it can be pretty tough. For many, the easiest way is to look into whether or not your phone supports HDMI out. Obviously, there's no HDMI out port on your phone, but if you have a modern smart device, it probably has a USB-C port for charging, which can, but doesn't always, support video and audio output. The easiest way to know if your phone supports HDMI out through USB-C is to Google your model of phone with HDMI out in the search box, which should return whether or not your phone is capable of broadcasting video. If it is, you'll just need to pick up a simple USB-C to HDMI converter from a store like Amazon. They run about $15 or so, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you're looking to mirror your screen wirelessly without internet, that's a different question. You might be able to use Miracast if both your phone and television support it. Miracast is built on top of Wi-Fi Direct, which is not to be confused with a standard Wi-Fi signal. Wi-Fi Direct has a lot more in common with Bluetooth. It pairs two devices together and allows them to communicate directly, rather than over the web. In most cases, all you have to do to mirror your TV is select the Screencast option from your device's Quick Settings or pull-down menu, and select your TV from the list of wireless devices it has scanned for. In other cases, you'll have to select the screen mirroring option under your TV's input menu first. These steps vary slightly between different TV brands, so play around with your television's menus to see if screen mirroring is supported. While mirrored, your TV will also act as your phone's default audio output device. If you wish to stop mirroring your screen, just disconnect your phone and TV. This can be done from either device. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Android and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.